Hey guys, it's me, Holly, back with another history video. Today I'm going to be like spitting random facts about Albert Einstein at you um, as I show you this video of me trying to draw Albert Einstein in my own art style. And this is a voiceover because it was way too noisy whenever I was first recording, so I just decided to do a voiceover. Okay. If you're wondering what app I'm using, it's Ibis Paint X. Very good app. Do recommend. And probably one of the most popular pictures was my preference because, yeah. And please do excuse the art as I am not using an Apple Pen or a knockoff. I was just using my finger. So it's not going to be the best quality. Okay. Random fact number one. Well, I might do these in order. And I might miss some, so if I've missed some that you would like to see included, please tell me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, on March the 14th, 1879, Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany. A fact I did not know was that he was born in Germany. <laughs> okay. And his parents, he was the first child, by the way, he was, his parents were Hermann and Pauline Einstein. They both have really pretty names. <laughs> Okay, random fact number two. In June, on the 21st, in 1880, the Einstein family moved to Munich in Germany. Another very nice fact. They moved house when he was about one years old, from what I'm guessing. Okay, random fact number three. Um, in March 31st, 1885, Einstein enrolls in the second grade of a Catholic elementary school called the... I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to put the word up on the screen. Um, uh, he receives Jewish religious instructions at home and begins taking violin lessons. Okay, so he can play the violin. That's really nice. Okay. On October 1st, 1888... Albert Einstein is accepted to the Lutpold Gymnasium. Okay, I've got to Google a bit about that because I have no idea what that is, but it's got a very nice name. And if you're wondering where I'm getting these facts, I'm just Googling them from random websites. So, if I'm missing facts, I'm sorry. Okay. In fall of... If <laughs> In the fall of 1889... The medical student, Max Talmud, begins joining the Einstein fam family regularly for dinner and introduces Albert to scientific and philosophical writings. Don't know if I pronounced that correctly. My tongue is dead. I'm really tired as well, which does not help. <laughs> okay, so in June 1894, the Einstein family moves again to Milan, Italy. But Einstein remains in Munich to complete his education at the gymnasium. Oh, oh, okay. So he stays this time as his family moves. So this is like second time they've moved. Okay. In October tw um, 26, 1895, after failing the entry for the exam of Zurich Polytechnic, Einstein is accepted to the trade department in a cantonal school, Aroa, Switzerland. Okay, so he's moved, like, to a new country. He lives with the family of Jost Winteler, a teacher in Aroa. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. I cannot pronounce these things. What is that noise? Okay, never mind. Um... Um, I'm just trying to find the next fact here. By the way, um, this speed edit sort of, it's a little messed up because, um, the photo was in black and white, so I didn't really know what colours to do him, but I'm just guessing here from different things on the photograph what shade it would be. Okay. Mm, 
January the 28th, 1896, Einstein officially renounces his German citizenship. Okay. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I will. It will probably pop into my head because I know I've heard it somewhere before. Okay, let's just continue. In October 1896, Einstein begins studying at the Zurich Polytech Polytechnic in teacher's training program. Okay, so he's now trying to be a teacher? I thought he was still a student, but okay. He's already, like, sounding really smart. Okay, um... In July 28th, why did I say in July 28th? It's on July 28th, 19,000. Einstein receives his diploma. Yay! As a mathematics teacher and starts working on his doctoral thesis. Don't know what that means. But, um... Uh, I, I don't know if other people find math easy. Because I do not. That's the reason I have a history channel. Not a maths channel. So, if it's actually easier than I find it, well, um, okay, but to me, this is like, boom. It may still be smart to other people, but this is just way too smart for me. Okay. On February the 21st, in 1901, Einstein officially becomes a Swiss citizen. Yeah, congrats to him. His life was just going up and up. Okay. His parents must be, like, really proud. In September 1901, Einstein works as a teacher at a private school in... Okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. I'm just going to make a fool out of myself. Um, in Switzerland, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say the name because I cannot pronounce it. Um, the date is unknown here, so it's just called Early 1902, Lazarel Einstein and Mileva Merrick's illegitimate daughter is born in Hungary. So he has a daughter now? Oh, okay. So he has a daughter. Einstein is hired as a patent officer in Bern. He's just moving up jobs really fast. April 1903, Einstein forms the Olympia Academy with his friends Maurice Sullivan and Conrad Habich. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, please correct me. They have really complicated names. Let me just try that one more time. Einstein forms the Olympia Academy with his friends Maurice Sullivan and Conrad and Conrad Habridge. Okay. On May 14th, 1904, Hans Albert Einstein and Mill River's first son is born in Bern. So they now have a son and a daughter. Okay. Okay. May 11th, 1905, Einstein's paper on Brownian motion is accepted by Annalyn der Physik. Fizzer. What? I can't even pronounce these names. It's either I'm just... Something's up with my brain or the, or the names are genuinely hard to pronounce. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Ooh. January 15th. 1906, Einstein receives his doctorate from the University of Zurich. Wow. He literally just, wow, he's zooming upwards. And by the way, if you're wondering why I drew him in a turtleneck, is because if you look closely at the photograph, or if you want to Google Albert Einstein, it'll probably bring that photograph up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he looks to be wearing a turtleneck because it's got a sort of neck on a jumper looking thing so that's why i drew him 
in it, and I just chose Crimson, because why not? Okay, February 28th, 1908, Einstein becomes a private donizant at Bern University. I nearly couldn't pronounce that, but I just did. Can I have a round of applause, please? Thank you, thank you. Okay. I've now lost my place. Wow. Okay, now we're back. May 7th, 1909. Einstein is appointed Extraordinary Professor of Theoretical Physics at Zurich University. Wow. He's just... Wow. I'm not even... Wow. So he wasn't just a genius. He actually went up that ladder. People thought he was just born a genius. Turns out, actually, I don't know where I've seen this, but his brain is literally no different. Like, people would expect it to be bigger or smaller or something. They're just different than ours. It's actually exactly the same. Your normal brain. Uh, okay, that feels really weird saying that it's a normal brain. Um, okay. And I can't find my base again. Oh. On July 28th, 1910, I did say these were random facts. Why am I worrying about losing my space? Never mind, I'm doing them in order now. Um, on July 28th, 1910, Edyard, the Einstein's second son, is born in Zurich. So now he has a daughter and two sons. Wow. Okay. Um, on January the 30th, 1912, Einstein is appointed Professor of Theoretical Physics in Zurich Polytechnic. I actually said that without stuttering or making a mess. Wow. Wait a minute. Um, okay. Never mind. I think something happened to the screen. Okay, yeah, I think I accidentally turned off my iPad. And that's why the screen's like that. Okay. Just ignore it. Um, in August 1912, Einstein begins collaborating with Marcel Grossman about the general theory of relativity. Okay. Okay. December 7th, 1913, Einstein accepts a position at the University of Berlin. Wow. He's just... <sighs> Other people would have just got one or two jobs and just stopped there. Maybe stretch to about four or something. But no, this guy's keep he's gonna keep climbing. Okay. I will like put a random image in that black so that there's not just you don't have to stare at black. Um Um June nineteen fourteen, Einstein and Meleva Meleva separate and she returns to Zurich with their sons. Oh no. Did I just put my pin in? I need to blur that. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. November 1914, Einstein signs a manifesto to the Europeans advocating his pacifist and internationalist deals. He also completes his formulation of general theory and relativity. This guy's working hard. Like, way, way too hard. Like, is he getting tired, or...? In September 1917, Einstein moves to the Berlin... No, pfft, moves to the Berlin. I just skipped a sentence. Einstein moves into apartment with one of his cousins, um, Elsa, in Berlin. Okay. I'm just rereading this to see if I said that right. Einstein moves into the apartment of his cousin Elsa in Berlin. Okay. okay. October 1st, 1917, the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Physics begins operating under Einstein's management. Wow. 
Wow. Just. Okay. February 14th, 1919. Einstein and Meliva obtain a divorce. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Poor Einstein. June 2nd, 1919. Einstein marries his cousin Elsa in Berlin. Wait, what? Um, am I reading that correctly? Um... Let me read that. Yeah, he did. He married his cousin Elsa in Berlin. Okay, moving on. November 6th, 1919. A solar eclipse has allowed scientists to observe phenomena predicted by Einstein's general relativity theory and news of the theory's confirmation is announced at the ceremonial meeting at the Royal Society of London. Einstein becomes famous. So that's when he really boomed off. And by the way, I'm pretty sure the solar eclipse only happens every 100 years. And it happened about a few years ago, maybe, in America. And that's where they really got a really, really good view of it. I remember watching it live on TV because I don't live in America. So well, I just remember sitting in a hotel room because we were on holiday. And then looking at the TV and seeing the solar eclipse uh, I was just so wowed by it, so I studied it for about a month, uh, and then gave up. April 2nd of May to the 30th, 1902, Einstein visits the U.S. for the first time on a fund raising tour for the establishment of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. He's literally bobbing about this earth. And by the way, the reason I said fund raising was because it's it's if for some reason there's a huge huge break in it so it sort of made it seem like it was like two different sort of statements almost so that oh my word my voice just cracked um yeah i don't know what i was saying anymore i am so forgetful on november 9th oh 1922 why did i just go oh Einstein wins the Nobel Prize for his work on quantum theory. Congratulations, you deserve this. 1926, Heisenberg, Skridgerdinger, <laughs> born, and others formulate quantum mechanics on the basis of Einstein's quantum theory. Now, I have no clue what that just meant. Okay, um, oh, I just realized my art's nearly finished. Okay, I need to hurry. Um, um, okay. October 1927. Einstein begins debating about Bohr, about new quantum mechanics at the Solvary Conference in Brussels. Okay, so he's debating now. August 1932. Einstein is appointed to the Institute of Advanced Study in Preston. He plans to spend half a year in Preston and the other half in Berlin. Okay. January 30th, 1933. The Nazis seize power in Germany. Um, is this like World War II or... I'm not sure. March 28th, 1933. Einstein resigns from the Prussian Academy of Sciences and declares that he will not run... Not return to Germany. Well, he better not run to Germany because that's going to be a long while from Berlin. Um, October 17th, 1933. Einstein moves to the United States. Yay! With his wife and his secretary, Helen Dukas. Well, they all moved. Now he's in the big USA. Um, congratulations. That's a big move. Um, December 20th, 1933. Elsa Einstein dies in Preston. No. August 2nd, 
1939, Einstein signs a letter to the President Franklin D. Roosevelt, arguing the declaration of atomic bomb development. Good on you. Okay, we've only got a few more facts left. October 1st, 1940, Einstein becomes an American citizen. So that's three changes, I think. Two or three changes. Um... Oh, I better hurry. We're on the speed run now. Um, August 6th, 1945. The first atomic bomb is dropped on Hiroshima. My goodness. May 1948. The State of Israel is established by the United Nations. Okay. Nine... November 1952, after Chaim Wisman's death, Einstein is offered the presidency of Israel. He declines. You could have just had the big, big role. But, I mean, if it works for you, well then, that's good that you declined. April 1895, Einstein dies in New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> His body is cremated and his papers turned over to the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. Oh my goodness. There is another section to this. Oh, but that's just like other extra facts. Um, but um, that was basically Einstein's end. He had a pretty good life with ups and downs. So you just know that he wasn't just smart. He had to work for it. And good on him. He deserved this. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for my amount of mistakes when reading that. I just... I don't really know what happened. Um, go check out Ibis Paint. And go check out some more facts about Einstein. Um, yeah. And yes, I did get an intro. Finally. And, um, I'd rather like to forget about the Romeo and Juliet video because that was cringe and I just rewatched it and it still gives me a tingle right down my spine. Do not. No. Um, if you would like more art videos, just comment as this is step to by step thing. Um. Because I could do more art and then do a step-by-step -step video on how to draw. If you would like that. Of course, it would have to be somebody from the um, main history. Or I could just do, like, more modern history. Um, well, it's whatever you guys want. I hope you have a nice evening, night, or morning. Wherever you are, wash your hands and stay safe. Bye-bye! Close doors, I'm a fool, you lie.